find a special one, Millie. There's some leaves over here, Molly. Millie's garden was a great place to find interestingly shaped leaves for Molly's collection. It was a place they might find other things, too. Oh, look, Molly. What about this one? It's an interesting shape. I've already got one like that. It's pretty. Well, let's see what else. Ah, oh, here's a whole pile. Hundreds and hundreds of leaves. There must be some in here you don't have. Let's see. Oh, look. Yeah. An egg. Can you tell what sort of egg it is? You know what's inside it? Sorry, Molly, I don't know very much about eggs. Maybe it's a chicken. Buck, 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 <laughs> buck, 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 Lots of things come in eggs. You never know. But what? What is it? Well, if you're patient, it might hatch, and then you'll find out. Mm. Here. Amazing. There's a little baby animal in here. And it'll be ours. Oh. But what is it? Maybe it's a goose. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> if you're not careful, you won't have anything at all. That egg needs to be looked after. You'll need to give it extra special care if you want it to hatch. Mm. How? What do we do? You need to find somewhere that's always warm and soft. Perfect. Maybe there's a snake in the egg. Yeah, a slippery snake. <coughs> Look out! Good catch. Oh, that was close. Come on, Marmalade. We need it to keep the egg warm. I know. We won't frighten you again, Marmalade. I promise, no more snakes. Come out. Please. Good girl. Every day, Millie and Molly hoped that the egg might hatch and wondered what little animal might emerge. It could be a crocodile. <laughs> Please, Marmalade. I promise not to make any more crocodile noises. I promise I won't either. It could be a platypus. What noise does a platypus make? I don't know. Maybe they don't make a noise. As the days and weeks went by, even Millie and Molly's friends, like Humphrey, tried to guess what kind of egg it was. I know what's inside that egg. What? A dinosaur! Tyrannosaurus Rex from outer space! Roar! Please, Marmalade, come down. Humphrey's gone away, and dinosaurs from outer space don't exist. Do they? Of course not. Well, I don't think so. After nearly a whole month of Millie and Molly patiently watching the egg and patiently wondering about the egg and patiently coaxing marmalade out of all sorts of hiding places, something began to happen. Look, it's moving. It's cracking open. <gasps> what is it? Shh. It's a duckling. A duckling! A cute little duckling! He's gonna be our duckling! He'll need a name. Um, let's call him Beaky. That's a good name. Beaky. But Beaky wasn't Millie's duckling, nor Molly's duckling. Beaky had seen Marmalade first, so Beaky thought Marmalade was his mother. Oh, that's so cute! So wherever Marmalade went, Beaky went too. To breakfast. To lunch. Hey, that's not a dinosaur from outer space. No, Mickey thinks he's a cat. <laughs> a cat? Funny looking cat. <laughs> he thinks Marmalade is his mummy. What? Oh. oh. So when Millie and Molly wanted to teach Beaky about water, oh. poor Marmalade had to come too. Watch out, Marmalade. But Marmalade's patience was really tried when Beaky was learning how to peck. <laughs> oh, Marmalade. Marmalade, what are you doing up there? Oh, little Beaky's so cute. But little Beaky didn't stay little. 
Millie, Molly, I think it might be time for Beaky to go back to where he belongs with other ducks. But, Mum! No, it's not fair to him and it's definitely not fair to me. Look at the mess he makes now. I don't want to have to clean this up forever. But we'll clean it up. Yeah. But when Millie saw her mother give a look like that, <sighs> Millie knew they would have to find a new home for Beaky in the park with the other ducks. <laughs> of course, there was only one way for Millie and Molly to get Beaky to go to the park. Come on, Marmalade. You know Beaky won't follow us. Only you. All the other ducks at the park seemed to love the pond. So Millie and Molly were sure Beaky would want to join them. Go on, Beaky. Go and play with the other ducks. Make some new friends. <gasps> she still wants to be with Marmalade. Hmm. Maybe if we hide Marmalade, then Beaky will go to the other ducks. So Millie and Molly hid Marmalade where Beaky couldn't see her and tried again. Come on, Beaky, into the pond now. <gasps> Beaky, don't go behind the tree. Beaky, no! Oh, he found Marmalade. What now? I know. We'll hide Marmalade in a better place. So with Marmalade cleverly hidden, Millie and Molly tried once again. No, into the pond! Come on, Beaky! You like it here? This is your new home! Please, Beaky, be a good duck! Aha! Uh -huh. Beaky will have to go to the pond now! Huh? Oh, no! Ah! He's never going to join the other ducks. You'll have to be more patient. But, Mum... Beaky can't stay here. You'll just have to keep taking him back to the park until he stays there. So each and every day, Millie and Molly took Beaky and, of course, Marmalade to the park and tried all sorts of tricks to get Beaky to stay with the other ducks. <laughs> But each and every day, Beaky would follow them back home again. Until one day, Beaky saw something in the park that was different. Millie and Molly waited a couple of days before they visited Beaky again. Hurry up, Mum! Please! I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm sure Beaky isn't going anywhere. Even Marmalade was keen to see how Beaky was settling in at the park. But when they arrived, they were in for a surprise. There's his friend. Where's Beaky? Maybe he didn't like it here, <gasps> but didn't know the way home and got lost. Now, now, don't think the worst. He might be here yet. Have a good look around. Here, Beaky! Beaky, Beaky! Come on, Beaky! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Beaky! Beaky! Come on out, Beaky! Beaky! We've looked everywhere. <sighs> Maybe a duck thief came and put Beaky in a bag and... Let's give it a bit longer. Look, where's Beaky's friend going? He might know where Beaky is. Beaky's a she. Huh? Look, 
Beaky is sitting on some eggs she's laid. And all this time we thought Beaky was a boy duck. Does this mean Beaky's going to have a family? I think it does. But this time you won't have to guess what's in the eggs. <laughs> and it wasn't long before Beaky brought her new family to show Millie and Molly. Because they were the best of some friends. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Beaky! 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 You're back! Come down, Marmalade. The ducklings won't hurt you. You liked Beaky when she was a baby, didn't you? There's nothing to be 